So my presentation is about video games today, and I've looked at it quite a bit in my call papers and even my one pagers. And I guess that being said, this really wasn't much of a surprise to do. And so I guess with me loving video games, even though I'm not good at them, this kind of came up and ended up being what I wanted to do today. So, how many of you would actually want to get your hands on this car? It's a lot, right? It's an amazing car. It's a supercar, basically. But, on the other hand, you have a car that's more accessible, like the Prius. And so, in that case, I guess, not as many would want to drive it. Because you can't really hit 60 miles per hour in this car within seconds. So, it's more accessible, but not as fun. With that being said as well, you have cars like these that are kind of like the fantasies, the cars we all wish we could have, but may not ever really get our hands on. And leading into that, fantasies are a little bit of an essential part to our lives. And generally, are better. In fact, fantasies more than reality, and generally they are better. Because, honestly, Spider-Man and Batman would not really exist if we all stuck to reality. And with this class, we've been kind of prompted, and also in college, to think more outside the box. And it works, because no one wants to be in that situation. And with this class, I've also kind of took a leap with the video games. In which case, the video games are a lot more than just what you play and have fun with now. And I'm kind of using something that a lot of us have been told really rot your brains and kind of kill just your intelligence. Our parents, our grandparents, all of us have had that told to us at a point, and it's been so with TV as well. But the idea here is what if we went further? Because at a point they are right. They are right that it isn't, you know, good for us. A lot of it can really be bad. But at the same time, what if we use them for more than just playing and having fun? Use them for something greater. I mean, the video games are going to be there. They're interesting, they're part of our society, and they're getting bigger and better. We have the console wars right now. And, I mean, honestly, the hype is on the news, it's everywhere. And generally, it's better. It's, they spark imagination and creativity. They encourage you to do more than just look at an assignment and take it for what it is. They are asking you to go further, to take it to better areas. And that's what all this comes to, which is inspiration. And they cause you to have inspiration. They inspire you to do things. A lot of people in this class have shown Google Plus that they were inspired by video games and just playing it, taking a step back in a sense. Video games want you to go from point A to point B, but do they really care what you are going to do to get there? They give you preset goals and times and conditions, but as long as you get to point B, they don't care how it's done. They just want you to get there. And with that competitiveness and just goal-driven part, it kind of pushes you to do more, pushes you to get to this area. And part of that is what I kind of took from it. I wanted to go to that point, be able to actually look at a video game and take it and put it into a retrospective point of view and use it on my actual stuff to push my own creativity, creative limitations and go further and use it on my assignments. And from that point of thinking, I wanted to go further. I wanted to have better chances at doing my work and using all the one pages and the call papers. And honestly, it kind of worked. And the sense more is better. It wants you to get better at doing things, kind of getting you to actually have better ideas, more opinions, more parts to actually go on. And Honestly, imagination, creativity kind of came out in this whole thing. It was part of not just taking what I had, but also going further and actually wanting to get more out of it than just the assignment. And honestly, succeeding or failing with these ideas, it kind of went both ways. You could go and win, be like JK Rowling, or you could lose and apparently throw your house down in the process. 
Yeah. And so that was my presentation, which linking all of that together and just kind of taking ideas, good or bad. <laughs>